motherfucker. How are you doing? What I'm going to be talking about today could get me killed. I want you guys to know that if I die and you, I never make a video after this, Vladimir Putin and his Barmy Army of Minions have taken me and I am hostage. Send help, send your best soldiers, send the best Fortnite players to come get me because I have been kidnapped. I'm sure you've probably seen that a Russian plane crashed which had a, a gentleman called Prigozhin. Don't know how you say that. Yevgeny Prigozhin. One thing you'll be really keen to understand about him is he, he was once a hot dog seller. Man sold sausages in bread and decided this wasn't life for him. He wanted to push the boat out. He wanted to become a mercenary. So he became a mercenary leader and he led a group of a private military and uh, that's what he's been doing in Russia. Now they obviously helped with uh, invading Ukraine. Not sure if you remember a month or two ago. He ordered his troops to march on Moscow. So Moscow obviously was taken over for I think it lasted a day. So they didn't do a very strong job um, to take over the to take over Moscow basically they would plan a rebellion and into you know to basically stop the war or find out what was going on because uh, it obviously wasn't happy however the plane that was carrying him mysteriously crashed which is so strange isn't it how did that happen so the private jet was carrying seven people on board and all ten people were killed now the reason I'm making a video of this is because this smells like <laughs> this smells like BS man this is some real doggy woggy moggy shit because this is weird this plane did not crash Crane planes do not just crash someone did this and I bet it's Vladimir was described as a dead man walking exactly <laughs> if I was Prigozhin I wouldn't fire my food tester Vladimir's top list to kill now obviously uh, now that he's dead this mercenary group is probably in chaos they're probably a little confused obviously the the rebellion only lasted you know a day so I wonder what Vladimir Putty gave him in order to you know tell him to stop apparently he was greatly admired as well uh, so uh, I'm not sure if you've seen the video but there's like people at the site and people at his old house or something leaving tribunals and things like that to uh, commemorate, 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 or whatever you say. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you remember as well, there was a guy who, so there's been a couple though, there was more recently, there was another one, like five, five years ago at least, who got poisoned with polonium. And here's the other guy, Sergei, in 2018, he was poisoned as well. So it seems to be a certain turnout, shall we say, if you go against the Russians. If you choose not to be friendly, they seem to just crash your plane, they'll poison you, or if you turn on them, they'll just get you killed. Obviously, this is, see, President Zelensky said everyone is aware who was involved. He's obviously saying it's Vladimir. Pew Dog's done it again. He basically killed him because he didn't, uh, he went against him, didn't he, at that time. Now, obviously, all people have died, but uh, I can imagine that a lot of fighters might pull out now, surely, of Russia and fighting in Ukraine. The thing I get a little bit confused about is you have to feel like it was an inside job, definitely, obviously. You know, let's not, let's not be, it's not even a conspiracy. It's a fact. Vladimir Putin did it, but how? Did he fuck with the controls causing it to crash? Surely the pilot would work out or oh, something's not right here let's let's sort it out i'm going to show this video as well in the background but this is the video crashing in the video if someone did it and then you know did it in the style of like you know he used a parachute to get out there is no parachute in the video you can see no one it's just the plane crashes down did was it a suicide job you know uh, i don't know i don't you know i don't know maybe the pilot was paid a lot of money and he was an old man i don't know you know who knows you just don't know maybe they killed the pilots as well so that it forced them to crash imagine that though you you know you that Wagner guy and oh, shit fucking got me I knew this day would come I mean you know this Wagner mercenary group they're very active uh, in Ukraine so are uh, half of them going to leave because everyone knows who this was everyone knows who this guy who's done this and killed this Wagner guy he had a mutiny didn't he and it collapsed it lasted a day and he lived life on the edge as it says that so he was on his own private jet as well which is the shocking part and you know him and Vladimir were friends but obviously this is Game of Thrones level shit Cersei Lannister's just hit the card I want to show you something else that is very 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 weird this there's been obviously ever since russia invaded ukraine there's been some dodgy dealios and a lot of people have spoken out against it some friendly to vladimir some obviously opposing and well obviously everyone's against it war equal bad Th this is crazy so these are all the people who have died suspiciously in russia or related to russia we're going to go through a lot of them there's like general director of whatever that means gazprom oh it's gas so it's energy so so obviously that guy died uh, and just look at suffered a stroke BS suicide note you know suicide is such an easy one to fate you just put a rope round him and hang him up Garage of residence. The British authorities found no evidence of a crime. Well, the British police are as useful as a red light on GTA, so no wonder they didn't find anything. CAO of Medstorm found dead with his two sons next to him. So they'll just take out the whole family. Disgusting, mate. He's a fucking knob. Someone needs to put him down. Kill him. Kill him himself. I hope he gets poisoned. Just look at how many there are. I'm, going, I'm at the bottom. 
and I'm scrolling up just to go against it. There's all these deaths in like the space of two years nearly. Died suddenly, found dead inside her apartment, fell from balcony, fell in while fell ill while swimming in the Volga River and drowned. What? That's like in the boys when that fucking fish bloke, what's he called? The deep kills that president guy or whatever. Fell twelve stories, found dead after falling twelve stories. That's not a that's not a comment, that's not a statement. Of course you're found dead. You've just fallen 12 stories after being pushed. Falling ill on a flight from Cuba to Russia. You know, something stinks here. It stinks of bullshit, mate. Absolutely reeks to high heavens. Do you smell it? That smell. A kind of smelly smell. A smelly smell that smells. Smelly. And there's just so many. People who... Presidents... Um, President election candidates who go against Vladimir Putin, obviously they all end up dead. And it's no surprise that after all these deaths and people dying randomly in tragic accidents and inverted commas suicides, etc., that no one goes against him. He, I don't remember a time in my life where Vladimir Putin wasn't running Russia. In other countries, you have, you know, rules. You can't do it twice. Like in America, you can only have two uh, two terms and then you've got to stand down. And, and this is important, but obviously they don't have that over there. And, you know, anyone who does run against him just gets killed. So they're probably not likely to want to do it very often. But the thing is with Vladimir Putin... Yeah, exactly. It's only going to lead to more instability for Russia. Uh, so I don't understand why he's done this. I think he's lost the plot. Now, there's this theory, it's quite popular among people, that he has cancer. And he's actually dying. And he's uh, sort of like going a bit mad as well. Well, he is fucking mad, isn't he? Yeah, so he... Oh, so it's not theory. He had chemotherapy. So, yeah, he does have... He did have cancer and he had chemotherapy. But this man, basically, he killed him. Didn't he? Let's let's be honest. There's a big Russian conspiracy, but it's not a conspiracy. The Russians are absolute animals and monsters, and the quicker this guy gets killed, he's, the thing is though, no one's ever going to beat him in an election because it's all rigged. They rig things, don't they? They lie. They affect world events. They are the sneakiest fuckers in the world. And this guy, this ugly bitch, is just needs putting down. He needs ending because if someone else doesn't, he will end everyone. He's actually wanted, isn't he, for war crimes? I think as well. So if he ever leaves Russia, he will get arrested. So I'd love, 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 love. For him to come over to a country and then get arrested, that'll be fantastic. That'll be fantastic. Look, the big Russian conspiracy, do you believe this nonsense? I do. It's so true, it's so correct, it's unbelievable. I can't stand Vladimir Putin, and I know, well, who can, alright, but... He has his followers, and I mean, he's just so dodgy. You don't agree with him, he'll kill you. Don't like him, he'll kill you. Say, some, say war is bad, he'll get kill me, you. Vladimir, you. Make a video on him bitch. and... That was uh, me acting that Vladimir was trying to choke me. I'm sorry I did that. You heard it here right, first, that's folks. It. Russia bad, war bad.